Well, if you've been shopping at the grocery store in the last few weeks, you realize you're paying a lot more for milk and cheese these days. Joining us now with this week's bottom line is Neil Melanson. And Neil, I have noticed it because you know that I love ice cream. Man, how much more am I going to have to pay for the stuff that I like the best? Well, Mike, it looks like as much as possibly 60 cents more per gallon, at least according to the USDA. A recent study from their Economic Research Service shows that milk prices are as much as 6% more than last year, a revision from their earlier estimates. The USDA has revised our forecast for dairy prices upwards to 5 to 6% 2011 over 2010 because fluid milk prices in the past month, two months have been higher than expected. It'll drive up the prices of all of dairy products, especially fluid milk, but anything that's made with fluid milk, which includes cheeses and butter and pretty much any dairy product you can think of. The bottom line here is that this is a spike in prices due to high feed cost and strong demand for milk products overseas, depleting our domestic supply. The good news is that these prices are expected to come back down by next year. The bad news, though, is that even when they do come down, prices will still be high. This is part of an ongoing trend that has seen dairy farms here in Louisiana at less than 10 percent of the numbers they had just 30 years ago. The drop in dairies means that milk and milk products have to be trucked in from other states, driving up the cost for us here in Louisiana even higher. As you heard at the top of the show, Smith Creamery that was destroyed was one of the few reversing the trend of shrinking dairies, and their loss means that dairy producers have one less market to sell to. So Mike, keep buying that ice cream, but make sure it comes from Louisiana dairies first, like my beloved mint chocolate chip. And Mike, what's your favorite? Well, Neil, you know there was a time when I was a Bluebell fan, but I got to tell you, and this is not a shameless plug to Jeff Kleinpeter, but I absolutely just love Klein Peters sweet potato pie ice cream. That's good just stuff. killer good. Neil Melanson, thanks. And remember, you can listen to any of Neil's reports on the Louisiana Farm Bureau radio network for a list of stations where you can tune in or listen online. Click on over to our website, twilighttv.org, and look for the LFB radio link on the left side of the home page. That does it for this edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Be sure to join us next week when we'll bring you the full story of the explosion at the Smith Creamery, and we'll find out how state budget cuts are affecting the Department of Agriculture and Forestry's ability to fight wildfires. Until then, you can watch any of our stories online. You know the address, twilighttv.org. For all of us here at This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm Michael Dana. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Hope to see you again right here next week.